Hi guys, my name is Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the letter H and how I teach my children each letter of the alphabet. There's always focus on the letter and the letter sound. It's a real intentional program. I have a schedule linked down below that you can check out if you're interested. We do it for about two weeks for each letter. So I start to go through each thing and when they lose interest and when they're done, then we're done. And so we sort of use this also as like a morning basket. Um, I don't usually theme my morning baskets, but I've decided to do this more focused approach. So let me know in the comments below if this is something you're following uh, and doing with us. It is a series if you're not familiar, so check out the playlist down below. So I go through each letter and give you different ideas of what you can do with each letter. So I'm going to start off by showing you how I plan. I go ahead and I list the subjects on this side. And then I think of things that connect to each of the subjects right here. The, the items in pink are books or different resources that I need to link for you guys down below. Um, yeah, so check that out. If you're looking for something uh, specific that I show you here today, then you can go ahead and check that out in the link below and it'll link you right to be able to purchase it. So the first thing I'm going to talk to you about is nature. I'm going to talk about habitats. And so what I've done is I've got a little, their little farm animals here. We've got a mountain goat, a horse, a little turtle, and I've also got two little pictures of them. And then I've got all these little pictures that I made of different habitats. <laughs> and what they have to do is match the correct habitat. Um, but just by, I'll put these all on the table and then they'll have to place the animal on the correct habitat or the picture. And then we'll talk about what a habitat is. The next thing is science. So I've got sort of two different things. If you have kids that are older, then this was a really great book that we found, All About Your Heart. And remember, everything will be linked down below. And they really like learning about body parts. So we just went through, but these things were, a, the descriptions were a little bit too advanced for my four-year-old and my two-year-old, but I just read to them what I thought they would understand. But if you have smaller kids, I really Really liked this one a lot better and this is just called my heart and the descriptions are very simple my heartbeat how to feel your pulse the strong muscle my husband's a nurse so he has a stethoscope so we were able to listen to their heartbeat with the stethoscope and you know check their pulse and he helped them do that let me know if you think you have something that might be a better idea for the letter H in the topic that we're covering um, because I'd love to hear all of your ideas I'm probably gonna redo this I do it and go and do it again, I would love to be able to incorporate some of your ideas and to give other people ideas. So the next thing is health. So my kids are really into hockey. So they have like little mini sticks and so we played hockey. And I remember every time we're doing a subject, I'm always writing the word on the board and just reviewing the letter H if it's a new day. And then we also have a book and I'm not sure I had it up here now. Oh no, I did, okay. And it's called Where Is My Hockey Sweater? It's about this kid who has, his room is too messy to find all of his hockey equipment to get ready for the game that day. So I like sort of reviewing, oh my goodness, look at this mess and encouraging them to clean up their own spaces. So the next one is math. And what we did is I just got a roll of masking tape. We just drew a hexagon on the floor, like a great big hexagon on my living room floor and play little games like we would hop in and out of the side. You can do all sorts of little games, you know, little buddy's sleeping song. And we did our hinges song at this time too. So I'm just jumping ahead a little bit, but for the song, there's a song called hinges and I'll link it down below instead of singing it for you, but it has different actions. You just move your joint. So the next thing is gospel. And you guys know that I do a little, uh, I don't know what these are called. Someone knows what they're called. Link them down below for me. I know there is a word for them, but we are in Doctrine and Covenants 8, and the scripture is, Yea, behold, I will tell you in your mind and in your heart by the Holy Ghost, with the Holy Ghost was the focus, the H word, which shall come upon you and which shall dwell in your heart. This is something we reviewed and tried to memorize together. The next thing is a fairy tale fable, which is quickly becoming one of my favorites. And then one of theirs too, obviously because they're little, right? We found this super cool Hansel and Gretel book. And it's a really interesting layout. I'll just show you. It's got all these little kind of see-through pictures, which are really cool. See, they're in the back there. It's really, really neat. And it's a bit different than the typical Hansel and Gretel story that I'm used to seeing, or used to hearing, sorry. But it was uh, really, really good. So for poetry, uh, The Real Mother Goose book, and we reviewed Humpty Dumpty. 
and um, yeah, we read that a few times for our poem. And they also have work work pages like that look like this. They do that and then they also are part of the summer library program which allows them they have to write down different five different picture books that they read and then they can go to the library show the librarian and the librarian gives them stickers and tickets and they can win prizes and things like that it's actually a really cool um, program but what I'll do is I'll get out a whole bunch of different books that have the letter H in it and I have her my daughter write out the letter H in the library book so that she also gets to practice that letter for the week like I try to get a lot of books that have the letter H in it. As you can see, I just use some of these. And so then she's practicing writing the letter in that as well. And not just the work pages or writing it on paper or whatever. So she gets a lot of practice writing it because I'd say that's what she's most interested in is learning how to write it instead of the sound and even knowing what the letter is. She's most interested to learn how to write the letters and she'll come up all the time with these little stories. She'll make books. it will have all these different letters, even some made up letters. Um, but we're, And then she'll, she'll read it for you. It's really cute. So for art, I'm going back to the gospel part. There's We're doing this little Holy Ghost um, craft. Now this is the used for our church classes like as a supplement if you're teaching a class but these classes are actually obsolete now but I still have these primary partners books and they have a lot of great activities for you to do at home so I still definitely recommend picking up um, these books if you don't have them already what it is is you photocopy this page and you it's double-sided on a popsicle stick so you cut these out color them if you want to and glue each side on a popsicle stick and then you do the little activity listed here. So smile and frown game, it, it reinforces things about the Holy Ghost. So it says you have to vote basically. You turn your stick to either, either the section that says the Holy Ghost helps me to be happy or I'm sad when I don't choose the right. I poke a friend. And so are you happy about that or sad? I share a treat, things like that. Okay, so another thing we did for art, you guys are gonna laugh at this. I let them put their hand in the photocopier. <laughs> and they, this is like their favorite thing ever. And so it's like the, often the simple little silly things that the kids end up really loving. So here's a, my son's hand and then I had them, you know, I, I wrote the word hand on for them. And as you can see, um, they practiced a little bit writing the letter H. My daughter drew a hand over here. See, this is like one of her words. and. So she, oh, she tried to write the letter or the word hand down here and a big H over here. So anyway, they really had a good time with that. And the problem is now getting them not to do that again on their own. But, <laughs> but anyway, so that was our art for one day. So for geography, I got this book. We're in Canada, just in case you guys don't know that. And so we've got, this is based on a true story. It's called A Harbor Seal in Halifax. It's about this seal that basically they help get back to the water, found it in the streets, and then they got it back to the water. It's pretty cute. So for history, we talked about, and I showed them a little video, and I'll link the video down below, but we just went on the Na National Geographic for Kids website, basically, and we talked about King Henry the Eighth. Yeah, and we talked about a few little fun facts about him. So that's what we did for history. We talked about King Henry the Eighth and some important things that he did in his life. And so the last um, few things are, I like to show you little extras I found. I get a lot of, like I told you, I get a lot of books that start with the letter H or have the letter H in the title. And I wanted to show you a few cute ones that um, were some of our favorites. This one was really great. It's called How to Build a Hug. And it's, again, based on a true story. And it um, raises awareness of autism to your children if they're not exposed to that yet or know anyone you know, with autism, the girl has autism in it. And so it's kind of a good, cute little introduction. It talks about how she feels and um, she builds this hug machine because she doesn't like people hugging her. And so they have a little piece in the back about the actual girl. And then my kids are super into Halloween. I don't know why. They're just into anything spooky and creepy. So I found this how to make friends with a ghost. And it was really cute. Like it was more funny for me than them. Like I don't think they got a lot of the jokes. But um, it was pretty cute. It's just goofy. It's just totally silly. Which things should be at this age, right? There's not a lot of educational value in this, obviously. But uh, it was very cute and a great read. So I'll link that one down below for you as well. And that's it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can check out this whole series with us. If you guys are doing some of these things, I would love to know. The next letter is going to be out, like I said, in about two weeks. I've changed my upload schedule just so you guys know. I'm going to be uploading Thursday mornings at 7 o'clock, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll uh, see you in the next video.